Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sav if you're new and today we are continuing our life and death rags to riches. We did so much in the last episode. Very excited with our progress. I hope that you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, I'm actually filming this episode and the last episode kind of back to back so I haven't got a chance to read your comments yet. But thank you in advance for all your guys' comments. I love you so much. I went and grabbed a beverage. I have a Cherry Twist Alani today. Why not? New pack, special occasion. But thank you so much for being here. Let's get into it. Let's get into this episode and make some more progress. I did get into very interesting pop-up and I wanted to uh, show you guys so that's what we're gonna be starting with I just wanted to sit here and fish for a while but then I got this pop-up so let's just jump right into it shall we I really like this one cherry twist delish so here's the pop-up hi there you don't know me but I saw you from afar and asked a mutual friend for your number wow I hope you don't mind I'm just I'm hopelessly attracted to you I promise I'm chill would you like to meet me we have to. Duh. I just think it's so cute. We moved to a new town and people are already trying to get to know. <laughs> Ooh, mystery. Of course. Oh, that's swell. Wait, I recognize that person. Let me get my jacket. I will come to your house right away. What? And we have romance with them already? Jade Rosa. I can't remember what pack um, she's from, but is that Mortimer? You going to school? You on your way to class? Gosh, it's been so long since I've seen Mortimer. I feel like all my LPs are like really death frog. <gasps> Zero dollar. Hold on. What is that? Get in the house. Hurry. Oh, she's cleaning our toilet. How sweet. Anyway, I wanted to see this frog. <gasps> Make heirloom, view or put in inventory. It's not worth any money. Can you make any object an heirloom? Oh my god. How cool is that? Do Oh, we do have mail. Oh, hold on. Wait, before we get the mail, if you do sort junk mail, you have a chance to get a coupon for donate lost soul to science. There are no souls in your inventory. What? You can collect souls? Is that a new collection? No coupons. Lame. All right. What, what did we get in the mail? Ambrosia Society Newsletter. What the heck is that? Welcome to our latest series where we guide you through... Oh. Yeah, no. I'm good. Um, anyway. Whoa. Not the NAP inspector here already. We're feeling a little hungry, so let's eat something. Cheese crackers. Your quick meal of the night. Enjoy. Okay, so it's nighttime. I wanted to go back to the wishing well because I kind of feel like maybe she would like us better at night. Who knows? It's so creepy out here. Like, look at this ghostly glow. Oh my. I'm back. Do you love me now? Edith appears to be open to further conversation, so it may be a good time to build a friendship with her. Tread lightly, though. Too many negative interactions, and Lydia may have to start her attempts to communicate all over again. Okay. Um. Try to chat. She she likes mischief, so like I feel like doing like mischief things with her. Okay, she liked that. This is actually really creepy if you think about it. A ghost child guarding this well? Uh-oh. Oh, we befriended her. She's argumentative. Um, you like argumentative sims? Okay, sure. Ooh, one simoleon for a wish, a dream or a nightmare, but gain my trust, ask for my mark, and the best dream you shall have. We are friends. It says we just befriended her. Journaling ghostly findings. So we did something for our aspiration. We befriended a ghost. How do we do the thanatology skill? Reading theories on the computer, ordering skill books, or perhaps even joining the Reaper or Undertaker careers. Okay. Ooh, we can get the mark now. Let's see if she'll give it to us. And then we can start wishing for things. 
What happened? Did she give us the mark? It did, she didn't sound happy. Oh yeah, we did get it. Dude, nice. Should we wish for something? I'm kind of scared. Untold riches. Yes, let's wish for that. That's what we need right now. Oh my god, look, she's glowing green. Because she's got the mark. Is it forever? Two hours. Shoot. So we gotta get it every time we wish for something. Oh my god! Eight thousand dollars? Oh, it was way more than that, actually. I think we only had 79 simoleons. Holy crap! With the mark of Edith on her side, Lydia tosses a coin in the well. Simoleons are raining from the sky. Well, not literally, but Lydia now has significantly more simoleons in her wallet. Hot dog! Look at us go! We're rich! Thanks, Edith! That is freaking amazing. Now we can buy ourselves a computer. Hell yes. Okay. Woo! We definitely need a computer for everything that we're trying to accomplish, so... We can get the really nice desk. New desk. There's this one. Ooh, that desk is actually gorgeous. And this one, it's like a more modern. I actually think I like this one better. The pink is dope. We've got a couple new chairs. Yes, 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 yes. Should we do the computer from Cottage Living? It's kind of cool. I will not lie. Ooh, beautiful like little candle lamp thing. I kind of want to like delete that. I want it to be kind of moody in here, you know? Okay. And then over here by the bed, let's grab some um, end tables. We've got a couple new ones. That looks huge. Hold on. Wait a second. Let me um, keep the lights in here for a minute. These are gorgeous. They're not that expensive. Maybe we should like, what to spend our money on? Yeah, this end table is way too bulky. I like the suitcase one. Ooh, look at this triangular candle uh, thing from the new pack. That's dope. Love that. I would put the chandelier in here, but it's huge. So is that. That feels a little too modern. Perhaps that one from Cottage Living. A lot of stuff from Cottage Living matches. Matches the vibe of the pack. We got a couple new rugs as well. We have this one, and then we got this round one, and this one, which looks like a bigger version of this one. I think I just want to put this round one here. Ooh. <gasps> Wow, that swatch is so cool. The crows. There's a spider on my wall behind my computer. How dare you enter my domain. Okay, we should probably add some windows now too. Just a couple, nothing too crazy. I'm a really big fan of these tall windows. I don't know. I don't know if they match the vibe of the house. Maybe we should do the other tall ones. Let me see. These? Hmm. Those kind of match. Let's put them like there above the desk. No curtains in this pack. That's actually really surprising. They could have made some really cool stuff. I guess they figured the paranormal curtains were good enough. That is if you have this pack. Let's get another counter. We'll put our death frog here in the corner. Oh, we need a trash can. This is kind of a cool artwork. Let's look at the swatches. They're all just like Grim Reaper themed or like death themed. That one's really dope. Now let's put that above the door. And then we've got this one. Oh my God. Oh, it's a tarot card picture. Oh, that is cool. Oh my gosh. I don't know which one's my favorite. I think either that one or the, or the Grim one. I think the Grim one matches better in here. What's this? Oh, a legacy family portrait. We've got another gallery grim reaper thing and this ooh, this is cool too it's very um whimsical Ooh, oh my god dude these swatches are so cool man i don't know which one i like best i think that one matches the most oh what about plants oh what about wall decor oh my god so much stuff oh here are the curtains it's like an arch interesting okay little gnome statue what's this whoa dancing raven tarot tent serve as the backdrop for your perfect tarot reading and with this tent you've got it 
I assume you need the entire deck first though, but that's cool. No new plants, huh? Oh yeah, we got a couple. Is this dead? We've got this one. That's beautiful. This like vase of roses. I think I like that better on the desk. Ooh, so pretty. My goodness. It's looking real cool in here. And then we have this for funerals. Pretty handy. Okay. I was looking for like a tall plant for this corner. That'll do. This is a CC tree by Pierre Sim. I actually think I want to change the floor in the bathroom to some tile. Okay. And what else? I think this might be fine for now. Look at us go. <laughs> We're thriving. Okay. One last thing. Let's put a hanging plant to fill up this uh, little area here. That looks good. Yes. Perfect. Okay, cool. All right. So, oh my God, that's literally fire. Shoot. I didn't realize that, but let me, um, change the intensity of this light to make it just a bit more moody. Ooh, that looks really cool. Maybe I'll do purple on like, hold on these. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. All right. So, we need to uh, work on our writing skill, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, bucket list. Write the perfect goal. Ooh. Okay, hang on a second. Write goal from category. So we got get busy, party, adventure, success, great family, create, travel, something else. I wanna create. I wonder if you like pick a category and then it randomly generates something. I want to, okay, it does. I want to mix the ultimate drink. Interesting. Mixology, right goal. Let's go on a wild Western getaway. Okay, I see how it works now. So you pick a category and then, uh, and then it randomly generates it. You can scrap your bucket list at any time. Oh, if you click, I want something else. It gives you some options. I want to peak as an artist. I'm going down swinging, fight grim. I must create. I'm going on one last amazing run. I hope I'm lucky enough to see a dead body. Whoa, that's dark. I must create. Interesting. So this is basically, <laughs> this is basically a to-do list, essentially. Let's throw the spookiest spooky party ever. Okay, these are our goals. Mix the ultimate drink, go on a wild Western getaway, create and throw a spooky party. Ooh, read theories on the Bloom's Bluff Mystery House, the unknown horse, the horse, the house of the fallen trees, mysterious death of Robert Crumplebottom. That's gonna work, do our thanatology, thanatology skill? I think so. Yeah, there it goes. Lydia has started her post-mortem studies, continue delving into death and level up. All right, bet. Write obituaries? What? That's part of her job. I didn't realize that. She has work in four hours, by the way. We had a day off. That's why it felt like we, ha it feels like we haven't gone to work in so long. <laughs> we should probably get some rest actually, because we do have work soon, so. All right, let's hit auto lights, this light. Yeah, you can keep the candles burning while you sleep. I know that's dangerous, but it's the Sims, you know? You can get away with that stuff. I love our little house. It's so freaking cute, dude. All right, have a good day at work. You can pee there. Make sure to work hard. Are we getting promoted today? I think we might. Oh, Thinned Festival is starting right now in the Morning Vale neighborhood of Ravenwood. Stop by to play a game of chance with a grim turn or learn more about the Reaper career, receive a tarot reading and offer gifts to the guardian tree. There's also food dancing and a mysterious merchant. I really want to go there. When does it end? 6 p.m.? Okay, we're gonna go when we get off. Gosh, but we're so tired. I think we might get promoted today. Yes! Bodyguard! Wow. A bodyguard? Oh my god, I get it. I get it. I get it. She's guarding the bodies. That's actually hilarious. Okay, it's 520. We gotta go now, even though our mood's not the best. The festival will end in one hour. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's at this bar? No, 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 no. It's probably like San Myshuno. Where's everyone at? Oh, we haven't been to this area yet. Dude, where is this festival taking place? I don't see anyone. This area is really cool though. It's like, um, it's like a revamped Forgotten Hollow. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, here it is. All right, what do we got to eat? 
Hamburgers, chips and salsa, tuna casserole, and mac and cheese. Oh, no, I want to get a tarot reading. This is the girl from the trailer, right? Zelmira Gomez. Ooh, look at this ghost. <gasps> Wait, that's Alice. We need to speak to her. There's too many things that I want to do, guys. Too many things. I want to get my cards read. Offer to help with favor. <gasps> oh, wow. It's like a uh, cottage living with the errands. You get tarot cards as rewards. Science claims to have death all figured out, but I think it's much more magical than that. You don't feel the same? Why don't you compare the two? Let's see what wisdom you can conjure up. Have you ever honored the dead? Seasons come and go much like ourselves, but keeping memories alive allows us to bask in their warmth once again. Give it a try, but if anyone asks, don't tell anyone I said that. Honored the dead? No, let's do this one. Pedal for your thoughts. Dang it, we're too late. We couldn't- we can't get our cards read. What the heck? Is that a rat? Why is there a rat ghost? Why are you foaming at the mouth? Good lord. I have so many questions. Man, Alice left. Ask about tarot. Dang, everyone dipped out super fast. I want to be friends with her. Oh, she's a teen? Tara was an ancient form of divination. All right, so for this favor, we have to read a thanatology book, find a death flower, deliver death flower to the death obsessed order member. Dude, that's so hard. How do you f just find a death flower? Unless there are death flower plants somewhere, I, I don't see how we're gonna be able to do that. I guess we could buy some rare seed packets. That's kind of how I've found them in the past. All right, let's head, let's head home. Didn't really get to do much, I'm kind of upset. Our chrysanthemums have grown already. We need to plant something for our jobs. So I'm just gonna get her to harvest some. Let's plant one. And then we need level three fitness. Have a good day at work. All right, we're back from work. Um, I'm gonna keep working on our thanatology skill. Okay. And then we need to achieve level two writing. What's today? TV season premiere. We will not be uh, participating in that because we do not have a TV. She doesn't seem like the type that would have a TV anyways. <gasps> Ooh, we reached level three. Lydia can now speak the dialect of death himself and these deathly whispers have unlocked further voodoo doll abilities. Uh, how do I get a voodoo doll again? The humor and hijinks festival, right? So writing obituaries. Helps with your writing skill and your thanology. Than, uh, than, uh, thanatology skill. Good grief. Why do I have such a hard time with that word? Okay, we did the first branch of our aspiration. So we need to befriend another ghost, find a rare item in a crypt, and le achieve level four writing skill. Okay, we're gonna have to go back to the crypt. Mix the ultimate drink. Does that mean we have to max mixology? Have a max level drink making skill and create the greatest drink ever. Oh my God. Spend a full day in Chestnut Ridge. Craft 30 things. Oh God, I was about to make her uh, have a grilled cheese and then I realized I don't have a freaking fire alarm. That would have been our second brush with death and we probably would have died. Phew! Good thing I remembered. Okay, here we go. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. No fire this time. It looks so cozy in here. I'm jealous. Okay, we've got work in seven hours. We're gonna get promoted, so let's, uh, let's get some rest, some proper rest. Dang, I'm so mad. We're always working during these festivals. The moon revelry is starting now in Whispering Glen. It's a full moon, too. You know what? I don't want to go. I want to call it. We have uh, vacation days. How do I take a vacation day again? Expedite mail delivery. What the? That's interesting. No, I want to take a, a vacation day from my job. Why can't I do it? So lame. The festival has not yet started yet. It's 2 a.m. Interesting. Also, she has this moodlet here from work. Plot holes. Something here is just not right. Lydia is feeling a chill fluttering down her spine. Lydia wonders if something might be lurking in the dark. All right, we need some fun. Uh, I'm gonna get her to go for a jog and listen to 
Hmm. Baroque, perhaps? I don't know. Sounds like something she would listen to. <laughs> All right. Yeah, pop your earbuds in and go for a little joggy jog. Oh, it's like medieval. Like Ren Fair music. Okay, yeah. I'm into that. Bardcore? Oh, yeah, this is big vibes. Listen. I love it. So many last exceptions. Holy crap. I think it's pretty fitting that... Since we are a grave worker, we work the graveyard shift. 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. That's really rough. <gasps> Look, our lemon trees. They have grown. That's so exciting. All right. Thanatology level four. Lydia can source Grimm for deeper learnings. Her studies have enhanced her understanding of loss, thus granting her some mortuary benefits. Death certainly takes a toll. Well... Constantly listening to Baroque has left has kept her fun up this entire time. It's kind of a vibe having this music. <laughs> I don't understand why our daily task is to plant something. Oh wow. Planting something is um contributing to cre the creating portion of our bucket list. That's dope. Okay, let's sell those. Yeah. I also I need to buy a bookshelf of some sort so that I can purchase a a thanatology book? Um, I guess we can just get one of these simple, simple ones. Are these not wall books? Oh, I guess not. Okay. I want like a wall bookshelf. Yeah. Can we get to our fridge still? Why do I doubt it? Just put it there. Okay. There are three thanatology books. Let's purchase all of them. Judith. Jade and you are such a great pair. You should think of something more long-term. Jade's not my girlfriend, is she? Okay, no. That's so weird. We hung out one time and I haven't heard from her since. Okay, we had to read one of those books for our Pedal for Your Thoughts um, errand. Yes. I don't care, bro. Oh my God. Find a death flower. Find a death flower by purchasing starter flower seeds from the computer or garden planter, opening them at a cemetery lot. No way! Holy crap! That's amazing. All right, screw the book, put it away. We're going to the graveyard, baby! Uh, going back to work <laughs> on off hours. That's so cool! Opening a seed packet at the cemetery gives you death flowers. I love that. Okay, Eternal Hollow Cemetery. I still wanna know why we got romance with Olive and why she stood us up like that. It's really strange. Who is this? Lounger? You're just lounging at the graveyard? That's weird, dude. That's really weird. Okay. Um, Opening them at a cemetery lot. All right. Well, let's go over here. Are these people like mourning? Oh yeah, look, mourner. That's sad. All right, let's pop open this seed packet and see what happens. what okay we got snapdragons and lilies but finding a death flower why is this checked off we didn't get a death flower though i'm really confused guys let me buy another packet this doesn't make any sense i have to give the death flower to death obsessed member gosh darn it i'm so confused okay i bought three more packets it doesn't seem to work I wonder if my game is just glitched or something. All right, we got Ravenwood Family Day. Starting now in Crow's Crossing, stop by to participate in the frog finding contest. Try out the tasty boiling death frog hot pot. Visit the collector. Learn more about wills and crows. Child sims can even try to get gifts from the nearby friendly specters. Cute. I'm pretty sure that's right here, right? What's this? What's happening here? Well, let's use the potty and check it out, shall we? Get some free food at least. Oh, you search for frogs in this fountain, I see. Okay. All right, well, let's see what we got. Pizza, grilled cheese, and hamburgers. Wow. Yeah, that's that's very childlike for family day. Boiling death frog hot pot. God, there's so many festivals today. Um, Cooking these supernatural amphibians renders a delicious stew that has some strange but temporary side effects. Hell yeah, let's give it a try. Lydia looks like she'd eat frogs. Oh, yummy. Who's this guy? Oh, that's like inheritance lawyer. Oh, start will. Out of body experience. What? Wait, just because we ate the frog stuff? Lydia has become a ghost temporarily. She can enjoy all the perks of this newfound form while they last, including ghost mastery. Ghost mastery progression will be kept whenever Lydia becomes a ghost again. What the? Oh 
my god. Look at the mood, the mood things, the mood, the, the freaking needs. Oh my God, help. Goo waste, ethereal sustenance, otherworldly slumber, appara apparition cleansing, spooky diversions, ethereal bonding. Whoa, whoa, ghost mastery. Lydia's ghost, ghostly energy is overflowing and brimming with spectral vitality. At this state, she can perform ghost mastery abilities with ease. What are ghost mastery abilities? Wow, I didn't think we would be able to see this tree today, but here we are. What should I do? Set ghost color. Extinguish flames. I want to be purple. Ghost scare. <gasps> Let's go. So this frog soup made us a ghost. <laughs> I don't know. There isn't really much you can do. Like, okay, I'm a ghost. Now what? I have two experience points already. Transcendent woohoo. Possess an everyday object with a living sim for a woohoo that defies the laws of- What the hell? Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Ghostly traverse? Yes. Okay. I'm so confused. All I've been able to do is scare people. That's it. I thought I would have more activities to do. All right, guys. Well, I hate to say that was kind of a waste of time, but it was kind of a waste of time. I became a ghost for no reason. Singles night, huh? I mean, the sandbar. Where's that? Mm, I feel like that is an Oasis Springs. I'm so mad about the death flower thing. Cause like, why did it like, why did it mark it off if I don't even have a death flower? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, we're not a ghost anymore. I just realized. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, we've got two days off, which is pretty sick. I wonder what the, oh my God, there's a raging werewolf on my doorstep. Nice hair. Don't you dare touch my crops. That's all I got to say about that. Um, I wonder if we can go make another wish with Edith. Hi, how are you? She's already talking to us. That's good. She's like, hey, you came back. How are you doing? Oh, she's not feeling us today. Why not? Girl, calm down. We're friends. Come on, dude. So, uh, if you get on her good side and befriend her, and then you come back another day and you try and talk to her, sometimes it won't work. Dude, come on, why not? I better put her in her cold weather outfit before she has another brush with death. All right, now she's feeling us. It only took us five times. Can we adopt her? It's the real question. I can't, I can add her to my family. Oh, oh, definitely. I definitely want to have a baby with Grim. That's like a whole thing. They made it very detailed having a baby with the Grim Reaper. It's pretty cool. All right, we have the mark again. So I think we should wish for something. Skill gains? Let's try that. Let's see what it gives us. Hopefully it's a skill that we... Gourmet cooking level five? Seriously? Whoa! We just got a tarot card from using intuition at the well. Sick. We got another death frog. What happens if we do it again? <gasps> what happens if we spam this? Are we just gonna get cards? No. Doesn't seem to be working anymore. That's dope though. We were able to get two more cards. I love that for us. Use intuition on this gravestone. Is that how you get cards? By using intuition on objects? <gasps> it is. Oh my God. That's so cool. I didn't realize it was that easy. Freaking gourmet cooking. What a waste. I'm having a closer look at the aspiration. It's a lot of the same stuff. Like the next, the next tier, find a rare item in the crypt again, make contact with Edith, achieve level seven writing skill. And then the last one is write a horror book and earn royalties from publishing books. Yeah, I don't know. This aspiration is kind of uh repetitive it's just about getting your writing skill up and becoming friends with ghosts and going in the crypt and that's basically it i don't know i guess that's not what i expected but it's fine it's whatever we'll still do it and then it looks like our little bar right here is filling up because we've been creating things which is pretty cool too what the 
When did we meet Bone Hilda? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna leave this episode right here. I know this one's gonna be a little bit short, but um, I have to stop filming for the day. This is my second video and um, I gotta get off my computer. But in the next one, I would like to attempt to meet the Grim Reaper. I think that there's a festival that you can go to that Grim attends. So we're gonna have to prioritize that a little bit. And I really do wanna finish this, um, this errand. Uh, I don't really know how we're gonna do it. I should probably buy some like rare seed packets or something to get the death flower but I want to finish that as well. I hope you guys are still enjoying this little mini LP. I'm actually obsessed with this sim. I think she's really freaking cool. <laughs> and um, yeah, what the heck is happening outside? Oh, it's a bike, okay. Yeah, we still, have, we still have a lot to do. We still have to die. We still have to explore the ghost tree. Uh, I want to have a baby with Grim. Uh, we need to do a funeral. We need to do the wills. I feel like there is like a lot of stuff um, in this expansion pack, like the list goes on. I still don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm having fun. I guess that's really all that matters, right? <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. As always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.